over the last 20 or 30 years, there's been fantastic advances in understanding what causes psychosis and what the mechanisms are. That hasn't really translated into better treatments. Now is to implement everything we have uh, learned about psychosis into clinical practice to offer the best evidence-based care to many young people who may be at risk of developing this condition. The Department of Psychosis Studies um, at King's College London is one of the largest uh, groups of researchers focusing on psychosis in the world. It's also directly affiliated with the clinical services for psychosis in the Mosley Hospital, one of the first hospitals specifically for uh, patients with mental illness. This integration of the two, the clinical and the academic, um, is really useful in terms of driving forward translational research. We want to improve clinical care for patients with psychosis through research. Over the last uh, 25 years or so, we've developed um, specialised clinical services for people who are at very high risk of developing psychosis. And this service was called OASIS. OASIS is a community mental health team for uh, psychosis prevention. It is the largest one in the UK and one of the oldest worldwide. It's very difficult for people to come forward, particularly when psychosis or the idea of psychosis is involved. When people first come to see us, they are greeted with a building um, which doesn't feel overly clinical, which isn't a hospital setting. Is this a kind of like hearing my voice or is more something that is uh, inside your head? We offer a safe space, we offer support to develop the skills that they need to avoid developing a longer term illness. Do you think that this has interfered in any way with your day-to-day -day functioning? We're very lucky in OASIS to have a multidisciplinary team working for us, so that allows us to involve a lot of our clients in research and it also enables us to put research into practice very quickly. Everything we have learned about the onset of psychosis and risk factors associated with this clinical stage has been thanks to the clinical research work which we have done in this clinic. Psychosis is essentially a neurodevelopmental but also a social environmental disorder. So for example, factors such as uh, urbanicity living in a city like London, uh, lack of uh, social uh, support and also barriers to care, they may all influence the uh, risk of developing uh, this serious condition over time. An area that we're particularly focused on in our group is the development of new treatments. One of the ones that we think um, is most exciting is cannabidiol. Lots of research in preclinical studies and in humans suggests that it has antipsychotic effects with almost no side effects. We're now at the stage of seriously evaluating it as a new medicine and doing large-scale trials in, in hundreds of patients. One of the challenges of treating patients with psychosis is getting the dose of the medication that's used to treat psychosis correct. We've been working on a, a, a new method that involves checking the level of the medication in the blood by taking a simple finger prick test that can give the clinician the result of the blood level within a few minutes. Many of the patients that we're dealing with, particularly in the early phase of psychosis, are young adults. A digital approach to research and clinical care might be particularly useful in this group. We know that psychosis is a multifaceted disorder which has multiple risk factors and presents itself in different ways. And for this reason, we have created a range of different smartphone apps which target specific aspects of the disorder. For example, we have an app called Social Mind which specifically monitors social interactions and how these may or may not lead to social stress. We can ask patients what they're doing, how they're feeling in real time. This provides us much more fine-grained information about how someone is feeling at different times of the day that can then be discussed with the patient and then used to predict what kind of support these individuals might need and how to optimise the various treatments that they're receiving. So one of the ways that we're very interested in using research data is to try and predict what's going to happen to individual patients. Having machine learning in place, which uses clinical data, patient-reported measures, and we can increase our prognostic certainty, as we showed in a previous study, by about 40 or 50 percent. 
machine learning provides a holistic view on the differences between, let's say, different outcome groups or different diagnoses. It maps these differences into a mathematical model and that allows us basically to translate knowledge into actionable decisions. We have knowledge that these models work, they can predict accurately, but at the moment we still don't know how well the treatments can be combined with these predictions. And this is, I think, one of the strengths of King's to lead these kind of studies. We very much like to not just develop tests and measures, but to incorporate these into devices or tools to personalize the assessment and treatment of patients with psychosis.